Welcome to this graphic tracer training video. My name is Steve and in this video we're going to be focusing on the initial installation and setup of the program. The installation of this program is not difficult but it does take time. Primarily the time is taken to properly set up the font search databases. Uh, that's an important part of, of this program. Very powerful tool but it does take time to set up and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, the program when it opens up you're, this is the screen that you're going to see. You're going to see in this task panel a series of buttons across the top here. This load image, separate colors, create vectors, text, so on, over to save. Uh, these are a series of buttons that follow the basic steps that you might take in completing a job. Now it's not mandatory that you go through each of those steps, but it is. it does give you kind of a workflow. Sometimes you'll bring a graphic in and you'll create vectors and come directly over to save and, and export it and to bring it right back into your art program because it will be production ready. But uh, you'll know that you know once you get the feel of the program what particular tools you'll need to get your graphic into the kind of shape that you want it for production. This next row of buttons you have undo and redo and we have zoom tools for zooming in and zooming out and zooming to objects. We have in the view tool, we have various things like uh, setting guidelines, horizontal, vertical, angled guidelines. You've got view settings and viewing the fill, snap to guidelines, uh, viewing grid if you want to set up a grid and snap to your grid. And finally, in the options we have the Fonti tool and this is the this is the one we're going to be spending most of our time in this video in setting this up properly. Now once the databases are built on the initial installation the program establishes a set of pre-built settings in this box you know so that uh, it will be searching some basic databases. You can see in these databases that little symbol in the box right there is an eyeball symbol and that means that it's going to search these particular font databases for identification only. Now this to upper one here you see a checkbox and it's in green. Uh, this uh, means that it not only will it identify, it will it search and identify a font but it will replace with text right in your image. Uh, well this one here says installed fonts so these are the fonts that are installed on your system you know, it can take those fonts and, and automatically uh, replace the text right in your image with one click of your mouse from the installed fonts. Now, Graphic Tracer can also replace text with fonts you own that are not installed on your system, but first they have to be added to the search library. Now, the way that you do that is you come over here to Add New for an example, I'm going to scroll down here. Let's say you have uh, your, you you have a copy of Corel Draw. Um, we we have right here an eyeball symbol in Corel Draw X4 in the pre-built. But let's say you owned a copy of Corel Draw, maybe X7. You would come over here to Add New, and you would give it a label, or you would type in Corel Draw or any uh, name you want to give it and I'm just going to type in Corel X7 and then you would point use this uh, here to point to your either your disk drive or, or whatever you know where your fonts are whatever font uh, library you want to build font collection or FlexiSign you might type in FlexiSign and, and point it to your disk drive you put your font disk into the drive and you click create and when you click create then Graphic Tracer will go to that place and it will scan what fonts are either in that folder or what fonts are on that CD drive or DVD drive and it will create a um, database so to speak of that particular font collection and it will place it into your uh, font library. As you can see down here I have added uh, Corel Draw 9, FlexiSign 7, you know some other disks I have, Master Fonts, IMSI. All of these fonts with the green check mark are font libraries that I own and so they're in green so it's going to be able to identify fonts out of those libraries and replace them directly into my graphic automatically with any of the fonts in these collections. These other fonts like URW 
or the uh, soft key sign fonts you know some of these other font libraries the ITC library it will tell me what the font is but it won't allow me to replace with with those fonts because I don't own those libraries so once you have created the uh, or added the libraries that you own and I have I've added a Corel you know so I'm going to deselect here you want to deselect matching fonts from libraries up here so that you don't get duplicate searches in the manage section this next button manage this allows you to go through and if I want to change the names or delete fonts out of my library I can do that font collections I should say or rename the various uh, collections I just highlight them give it a new name and click rename this update button here is for installed fonts if I install fonts in my system and I want to update them so the graphic tracer will find the new fonts that I've installed on into my system and allow me to replace with those I would click update and it would go in and update that particular uh, the installed font library last of all we have a help button here when I click the help this uh, gives me tips and, and news from the web updates and upgrades uh, about graphic tracer uh, there's also a quick guide if I click on that it will pop open you can see here a uh, welcome welcome to graphic tracer this is a little manual you can go through with this particular manual and if I right click and save it I can save it as a PDF and print out a hard copy if I'd like there's also uh, helps you know going through here on this side this is dynamic and anything I click on that changes and there's videos and things built into that section there so Hopefully that helps you to get uh, get started and get set up in the program. And uh, we'll be going through different videos showing the various tools that are in, in each of these categories and how to use them. Thank you for taking the time to watch this and good luck with your program.